It's a huge place. It's a system of uh, thousands of uh, pools that evaporates um, salt from the underground brine and the salt water emerges from a natural spring. What a beautiful place, but look at that. I mean, uh, it's really, really uh, crowded. I can barely find a spot to capture a nice photo right here. It's one of the most popular places in the sacred valley here in, uh, in Peru. Bell will driver. <laughs> All right, I'm pronouncing it right, right? Bruce Bell. Yes. So he's my driver. Will take me to Cusco. Is that how you pronounce Cusco or Casco? No, Cusco. 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 Yeah. So get your, get your name is Costco. Ah. Cusco. So Cusco. Okay. The Spanish Cusco. Cusco. Okay. We will say it in Spanish then. Cusco. Cusco. And then on the way, we will stop at uh, Morai, right? Yes, next stop uh, is Morai. Morai, it's, uh, it's a beautiful place along the way. And then another one will be a salt mine, it's, it's called Maras. And then another village, uh, Chinchero? Chinchero? Chinchero. Chinchero City. Chinchero City. Chinchero City. Yeah, and then, um, and then Pesak, yeah? Yes, Pisa. And Pisa. 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 Pisa, okay. And uh, and finally uh, we'll um, we'll go to Cus Cusco. destination Morai. Let's go explore it now. See I really got the ticket. Ticket that I got is 10 day 10 day ticket valid for several sites to enter several sites like that one the one he's checking right now gracias thank you it's a little bit uh, chilly due to the high uh, altitude and uh, those people came with uh, a group guide but I hired uh, a private uh, driver Rose uh, Rose Bell his name is Rose Bell and he's waiting for me right there 
so while I uh, explore uh, this uh, site and it's gonna take me probably about 20 minutes that's what he said and then we will continue to another uh, another uh, destination so if you are uh, visiting the sacred valley and you did search uh, online you will definitely come across this uh, this site called uh, uh, Morai it's really uh, it's really popular uh, site so you might wonder how much uh, that uh, taxi uh, cost it's 290 solis Peruvian solis and that is about um, I would say about 80 US dollars and um, and actually um, the, my plan is actually to visit Cusco I left Ollantaytambu going to Cusco but these sites that I am visiting today are along the way to Cusco and I say why not just uh, hire a, a private uh, driver and ask him to drop me off uh, here um, it will be four sites I think to go uh, to go through on my way to Cusco and then uh, I will stay in Cusco for one week so I will check in the hotel uh, today and the whole trip to Cusco while visiting uh, this uh, these uh, sites will take up probably eight hours so it's a long it's a long day I'm not sure if I will be able to uh, to go all the way down um, to the bottom of uh, those uh, terraces so those terraces were built by uh, the, the Incas during the Inca Empire and they were used for uh, agricultural purposes uh, right there and you see uh, several terraces carved into the uh, into the earth and uh, I heard that the uh, the temperature uh, the difference in temperature from the from the top to the bottom terraces is very significant it's about uh, it's about up to 15 uh, degrees Celsius or 27 Fahrenheit difference between the bottom and the top and that allowed the Incas uh, scientists uh, to use it for uh, to test to test the how the uh, how the crops will uh, will behave in in different seasons so they were uh, genius uh, engineers at the time yeah you see they don't allow you to uh, they don't allow you to go any further even though this site now is almost to myself I only I only see two people there and all the group that came with uh, with the tour buses I'm not sure why they're not coming down they're only they're they're looking at it from the from the top and that is why I don't like to come with the with the group because uh, I don't get the flexibility and the freedom to do what I am doing right now I am doing it on my own I said you know I would rather just uh, hire a uh, taxi driver and just uh, ask him to drop me uh, at the destination that uh, that I want to visit and look at those two people I'm pretty sure they're doing the same thing uh, that I am doing they hired uh, a taxi driver and I don't think tourists here rent rent uh, cars because it's not it's not a good idea to rent cars in the sacred uh, valley due to the rough roads and the rules and, and all that kind of stuff you see it says don't pass but she is uh, she's doing it 
maybe we are allowed to go this way it's I'm really impressed when I heard that the temperature difference is is up to 15 Celsius from the top to the bottom so this is huge huge uh, uh, the drop in temperature so let's say let's say if uh, the top um, is 80 degrees Fahrenheit and then you subtract 27 degrees if you go all the way down then it will be what it will be 53 degrees uh, Fahrenheit you see the difference so imagine you are in the summer, in summertime, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and then out of the sudden you go to a lower level, and and the temperature will be 53 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is why they were allowed to to test uh, to use it for agricultural uh, tests and experiments. They don't have to wait for other seasons. You know they can do all the tests in the same season See, it looks like I can I can still go all the way up you're just following them see it looks like it's a loop that will take me all the way to where I started I started from there and if I keep going it will take me to the parking lot I hope because I don't have the energy to go back and hike back because due to the high elevation I'm really struggling with breathing right now and you can see all those several terraces carved into the into the earth and that is the bottom uh, terrace and the, the top terrace, I think, is that one. So from there all the way down, the temperature, the difference in temperature could be up to 15 Celsius or 27 degrees Fahrenheit. See, now the, the, the group started to, uh, to come down right there. And I'm glad that I, uh, I show up early so to avoid the the big uh, crowd right there but it's really beautiful uh, beautiful site to to explore it's a historic site and i think it's a unesco world heritage site site if i'm not uh, mistaken all right let's get back to to the parking and there is a toilet by the uh by the parking uh, lot so next I'm gonna go to um, another destination the the salt Mayan called um, what they call it I forgot Maras Maras salt Mayan something like that and this is another set of uh, terraces right there on the other side Wow this place is huge it really is and I think this is the main uh, platform to capture a nice photo right there see if I can squeeze myself in if I'm lucky we will see here we go that's the main platform to capture a nice photo oh boy I'm really breathing I'm struggling with breathing due to the high altitude it's really tough it really is it's really tough to breathe here all right enough of exploring this uh, site Let's go to Maras salt mine. Maybe that will be in another video. 
You know, before I leave, before I leave this site, I said, let's let's uh, take a look at this uh, tiny market here. I think it's worth it. I was about to leave, but I asked the driver to stop. And uh, see what these uh, people are selling. Oh, oh wow, they, they're cooking what? Potatoes? Look, isn't that something? Wow. Hola. Hola. And what is she cooking? What is this? Uh, chicharrones. Chicharrones, uh huh. Sí, alpaca. Alpaca. Sí. Y porco. Oh, porco. Uh -huh. oh. Maíz. Mm. How much? How much? Twenty uh, soles. Twenty soles. Soles. Oh, mm. okay. How much? Look, she has a small kitchen right there. And the toilet is. Uh, is a little bit far from the parking. I said earlier that it's by the parking lot, but apparently it's not. So the driver drove a little bit to drop me off just to use the toilet. All right, now it's enough exploring this uh, site. On to the next uh, next destination. Let's let's go. We are on our way to Maras Salt Mine. We just stopped at uh, Morai. And you look at the view right here, it's really beautiful. I see, I think that is a glacier all the way up, up there. It's really beautiful, look at that. village called Maras. Right there to go to the salt mine we have to drive through this uh, small beautiful uh, village. You look at the uh, those small houses very nice. This is about, uh, I would say, 20 minute drive from Morai. Not, uh, not that far. Earlier I was in Morai. Morai, I think. Is that how you pronounce it? Morai or Marai? Morai. Morai. Yeah. And now 
we're going through morass. We'll make a quick stop before continuing the journey to um, Cusco. Um, Cusco is the capital of the Inca Empire. Look at that small church right there. Look at that, wow. gonna keep filming until we reach the uh, the salt mine and the roads are very rough so I'm 100% sure this will create some kind of noise so the audio quality will uh, will definitely suffer right there it up at the uh, This reminds me of the uh, some of the Portuguese villages that I visited earlier this year. Wow, you look at that. What is this? This is a government building, I think. So he's going with me. Uh, Rose, Rose Bell, the driver. I'm not quite sure where we're going, but we will we will see what I'm gonna see. Oh, this is the ticket for the. No, no, no. Oh, this is ah. Is it chocolate? Chocolate, 70% of cacao with pizza. Oh, gracias. Okay, chocolate con sal. Mm. Delicious. Yeah. Mm. 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 Yes. Right, that's where we stop to buy a ticket. And then we will continue to the to the entrance of the site.
because if you look at this uh, line of uh, cars here and my driver just uh, dropped me off right there and he will wait for me there and the ticket office is actually in another location that you saw earlier and it's about five minute drive from here so all those people who are here already have a ticket they already bought a ticket for 10 soles Sale Naras. Sale Naras. I think this is how they pronounce it. Sale Naras. And this is not part of the uh, of the tourist uh, ticket uh, that includes several sites. So this is uh, different. It's not included. So if you watch my Oyan Taitambu archaeological site, yeah. Uh, you will see that uh, I bought a ticket there and that ticket includes uh, many many sites but this one is not one of them huh? oh Salineras Salineras here here oh okay I'll go this way okay yes, yes. So I think, uh, yeah, I think this is the entry. This is what he was trying to explain to me. The entry is there, here, and the exit is there. I guess that's what he said. I don't speak uh, Spanish. Let's go explore that uh, beautiful site. Yeah, I see. those uh, poles white poles there this is the uh, platform to capture a photo right there but the view gets better if I keep going down there is a public toilet right there. They're playing music uh, up there. I'm trying to to stay away from the music, so uh, in case uh, I get a copyright uh, strike. Wow, look at that. It's, it's really beautiful. I think this is the main one of the main uh, viewing platform platforms to capture a nice photo but we will keep we will keep going as you can see it's super crowded so many people so many people it's a really popular place to visit if you are in the sacred uh, valley but I'm not sure why it's not included in the uh, in the general tourist uh, ticket they call it 10 day uh, ticket it's not part of that program I guess well wow, here is uh, you get a better view of the whole system 
a system of uh, white poles that evaporates um, uh, salt from the underground. Wow. Listo. A ver. You see, this is a system of uh, white poles right there that evaporate salt from the underground and still in use. Uh, dates back to the pre uh, Inca times. Amazing. It really is. You look at that lady. She's uh, doing uh, the process to prepare the salt, I guess. It's a huge place. It's a system of uh, thousands of uh, pools that evaporates um, salt from the underground brine and the salt water emerges from a natural spring. What a beautiful place, but look at that. I mean, uh, it's really, really uh, crowded. I can barely find a spot to capture a nice photo right here. It's one of the most popular places in the sacred valley here in, uh, in Peru. Now the exit goes this way. And we will see if I can capture, capture a nice uh, footage from uh, from this side. And there is no way to, to avoid this crowd. There is no way. It's a, it's impossible. I, I, I waited for 20 minutes for the bus tour to go away. But uh, when they leave, another set of bus tours uh, come, uh, come in. So they keep showing. So anyway, I will just uh, keep filming this way and uh, this system is, is still in use by the way, they still use it to this day and it's been in use uh, since uh, pre-Inca uh, times, so I would say at least 800 years. So it goes like a loop, the entrance is there and then I walk on walk this trail and then find my way back to the to the parking but along the way I think there is a, a beautiful market that I will walk through I'm trying to hike a little bit further to to get away from the crowd I was about to exit the, the site from there but I saw a group of people going that way and that site seems to be less crowded so I said let's uh, let's check it out before before leaving this site you look earlier I was in one of those uh, viewing platforms and it was uh, super crowded. I could not uh, get a chance to capture a nice photo without people. But uh, it is what it is. I covered most of it. It's better than nothing. And you look at this site now. Out of the sudden, the whole area is to myself. You get a better view of the, uh, of the whole system right there. And when we drove down to this site, we came from all the way up there and the drive is a little bit uh, scary. But this place here where I'm standing right now is a little bit scary because it's a, it's a deep 
um, steep cliff right there you, any tiny mistake uh, can lead to death so I'm gonna go back now to the exit and there is a beautiful uh, small market that I want to go through but they're playing very very loud music over there which I don't like I don't like uh, when they play music when I film it's not good uh, for YouTube uh, because it creates uh, it creates some issues as far as uh, YouTube uh, copyrights uh, um, work so I'm trying my best to avoid uh, any street music and when that happens I add my own I add my own background music to block uh, their music. <laughs> 